Hi, this is Anthony Grino with a review on Firefox 31, which was released on July 22, 2014. Mozilla updates its Firefox browser once every six weeks, so this is the fifth update this year. So let's take a quick look at uh, some of the key features um, in Firefox 31. Well, first off, uh, there are over 3,000 uh, bug fixes and uh, fixes to security vulnerabilities. Um, one of the new features um, is the search engine bar that has been added to a new tab. So basically, when you open a new tab, um, you will now see the search bar right here, which is sort of useful. Um, you can obviously customize this um, search engine, um, whether you want to use Google, Yahoo, Bing, uh, and some others. Firefox also introduced a new certificate verification library and it is supposed to be you know more robust uh, and provide enhanced certificate verification. Um, the other new feature is um, the new download screen screening tool. So when you download uh, you know applications um, basically uh, using Google's safe browsing application uh, you know this feature detects malicious uh, downloads and um, you know blocks those um, mal malware uh, that may be present in uh, downloaded files. The other new feature um, or features and enhancements in Firefox 31 include a parental control feature called prefer safe and this is basically um, enabled through the HTTP header uh, Firefox will automatically handle, you know, PDF files and OGG files, which are essentially audio video files. Um, so these files will be handled internally unless a specific application is selected. And uh, there were several developer tools uh, implemented, some of which include the add-on and canvas debugger. The eyedropper tool was added to the color picker. Um, there's an editable box model. Um, there have been some improvements to the code editor and many others. Um, you will find a link in the description section of this YouTube video uh, for a full list of developer tools that have been added. I ran a browser benchmark test using Peacekeeper and overall there was a slight improvement in performance compared to the previous versions of Firefox. However, when you compare it to Google, as you can see from the results, um, you know, it still lags behind. So that's pretty much in a nutshell, um, you know, um, what is included in Firefox 31. Um, not too many changes, but, um, you know, a few new changes. Um, so feel free to share your experience uh, with, um, you know, with Firefox. And, um, Hope you found this video useful. If you did, you know, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And you will also find uh, several, you know, Firefox help tutorials on this YouTube channel. Um, so feel free to come back and check in. And uh, if you've got any questions, you can please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thank you.